What's going on guys? The CTA Prime back here again. This is going to be kind of a quick video, but I wanted to get this out of the way in case you missed it. Botocera was recently updated to 5.22, and we get some awesome new features built in. So in the past, if you've ever messed around with Botocera, you know we were really limited on the themes. And what you see on screen right now is Botocera. I'm using the emulation station of Carbon, so it looks like RetroPie now. We also have the ability to download other themes. I'm going to press start on my controller. System Settings, Updates, Themes. As of making this video, we are a bit limited on the themes we can download, but more will be added here. So I'm gonna back up, I'm gonna change this theme out. Like you saw, I'm using the Carbon theme, UI Settings, and I'm gonna hit this one up. This is personally my favorite one that we can download from within Botocera right now. And like I said, we also get video snaps. Finally, inside of Botocera, we have video snaps. Another thing that's been broken in RetroPie and Botocera for a long time is the built-in scraper. It's now fixed in 5.22. We can now finally successfully scrape our games once again. We also now have access to kiosk mode and kid mode inside of Botocera. Now whether you're running this on a Raspberry Pi 2, a Raspberry Pi 3, an Odroid XU4, or an M2, you will have access to all of these new features except for the higher end emulators you see here, like 3DS, GameCube, and PS2. I have access to these because I'm running this on an x86 PC. We also have an updated NVIDIA driver, which I'm super excited about. The new driver has been updated to 4.18.74, and this does support the GTX 1650 or 1660. I personally haven't tested the RTX cards, but they should work on this. Now, speaking of Botocera running on a PC, I have created a full tutorial. Whether it's a laptop or a desktop, I'll leave a link in the description of that. It's really easy to get it set up. You can run it from an external USB drive or an internal drive. There's a lot more added features and changes inside of Botocera 5.22, but I just wanted to show you some of the more notable ones. I will leave a link to the website in the description. You can check out the full change log there. RetroArch has been updated, some of the standalone emulators have been updated, and there's new features for different boards. So definitely check it out, link for that is in the description. So that's pretty much it for this video guys, I really appreciate you watching. I know this was a quick one, but I wanted to get it out of the way because I know a lot of my viewers have been using Botocera on their laptop or PC or even their Raspberry Pi, and having these new updates is pretty awesome. I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button, maybe subscribe to the channel, but like always, Thanks for watching.